Hi, and welcome to Morningstar Reviews. Morningstar is a Christian bookstore with the mission of sharing the love of Jesus throughout New England and the world. My name is Chris, and today I'm joined by my good friend, Josiah. That's right, yeah, I'm excited to be here, and we're coming at you from our Lemonster location deep in the heart of New England. That's right. Today's book that we'll be reviewing is Jesus the King by Timothy Keller. This book takes us through the book of Mark, and this book is broken down into two parts. The first part really talks about the life of Jesus, and the second part talking about the cross and his death. Keller points out that the book of Mark itself is almost kind of split into the same two parts. The first half is establishing uh, the divinity and the identity of Christ, who he is and what that means. And the second half talking about his death, how he even foreshadowed it, how he was telling his disciples, and um, the significance of that as well. This book was originally titled King's Cross, but when they decided to come out with paperback, they changed the name to Jesus the King. One of the things I really liked about this book is that Timothy Keller is able to take concepts that we hear about in church or that we hear about from pastors or Christian friends, and he's able to take them like uh, things like, you know, let Jesus be the king of your life or uh, find your fulfillment in Jesus. He's able to take these things and put them into practical terms that are easy to apply to our life, that are easy to understand. One thing that I really liked about this book is the fact that it really is a study on the book of Mark, right? Lots of times people do studies on the book of Matthew or the book of, of John, but um, I really haven't done a study on the book of Mark before reading this book. One thing that they really focused on that I found super interesting was in the beginning of the book where um, Timothy Keller saying that the book of Mark echoes or parallels the book of Genesis. And I've never heard that before. Like I've heard that in John, they make that comparison to John, but never really in the book of Mark. And I found that extremely interesting. This is one of those books where when you read it, it gets you excited about studying scripture. Yeah. It makes you um, want to go and read. And I think any book that does that is absolutely worth reading. If only we had a book that made us want to study math. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that this book uh, can really target anyone from ages 15 to 95, new or Christian or old Christian. Yeah, uh, really, it can even apply to those who are not yet Christians or those who are searching for historically, who is Jesus? Um, what's up with the Bible? He, Timothy Keller is, is incredible with something called apologetics, which is defending the faith. So he's able to show how the Bible has, uh, has grounding in other historical documents, how it doesn't contradict itself, how it's true throughout. And he's able to show how that can apply in anyone's life. So it's, it's really good for anyone who's searching for Jesus or anyone who's been a veteran Christian for 50 years. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching this video. That just about wraps up this episode of Morningstar Reviews. Uh, make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like us on Facebook. And down below, you can find all of our store locations and hours in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Yep, God bless. God bless.